The 16th topic is to solve systems of equations. Here there is linear, nonlinear, and different type of equations. So I won't tell you the normal uh, the regular method. I'm sure you might have gone through this in your regular classes throughout the term where you need to simplify each term, put it back into the equations and solve it up. It's just lengthy. So there is one more method. Instead of doing all that uh, long method, since you'll be given options, four options, you can see the four options and then try to find the correct answer. So say, for example, this is one type of problem where you have a linear term like power one terms and power two terms. So you will have four options. You need to try, try, do a trial and error method over here. So take this four and put it in the equation. So what happens over here? Eight. Now, y is unknown. So what I do is I have to put alpha and x. This is like an unknown variable. Don't think this is x. This is for y. That is unknown. We need to find it. Equals minus 10 times x value. Let's take it as 4. Now, you can't press equal to. You need to press shift and solve. And the answer is minus 5. Okay. Now, this is not it. You need to put it in the next equation as well. Now, before that, let me try the other one also. Okay, let me just go back over here. And let me try minus 4 over here. Minus 4, shift and solve. You're getting 5. So, this particular equation is true for these values. Whereas in the other options, only 1 will be the correct option. So, they might give you 4, comma minus 6. So, that is wrong because you're getting 5 or minus 5. So, this is correct for this equation. But that's not it. You need to try it for the other equation as well. Because sometimes the option may work in one and not in the other. So let's double check it. Now over here, the thing is, all both are squared. So whatever answer you get will be plus or minus automatically. So now I'll take alpha x squared equals, sorry, I do not need to do that. I can just uh, solve this as a quadratic over here. y squared equals, substitute the 4. So, 4 squared is 16. 16 times 2 is 32 minus 7. This is equal to 25. Okay. Now, y squared is equal to 25. What is y? y is plus or minus 5. That's it. Same thing can be done over here. But if you want in the calculator, you will just get single answer. You know, that's the thing. Otherwise, you have to use mode 5 and 3 and then solve it. You will get both the answers. So yes, this is correct. But now let's try, for example, these. Now we are say. So what do we do is now? Uh, sorry, this is okay. Let's try this one because you will have four. Because the first four are just the same, like what we what I just now did. But this one is interesting. We are say. Here you have y squared x squared y squared x squared. So first, let us take x value. You can do it in calculator, but I'll just do it manually over here y squared will remain minus 2 into 2 squared that must be equal to 8 so let us solve what is y squared y squared will be equal to 8 minus 2 squared is 4 4 times 2 is 8 but this goes to the other side it'll be plus 8 y squared equals 8 plus 8 is 16 y is equal to plus or minus 4 see when we put the option of 2 we get for 2, we get either 4 or minus 4. Yes, this checks good. Now, it's not over. You need to try this even for the next equation. And you must get the correct answers. Otherwise, it's wrong. Let me try it over here. 3y squared plus 2 squared equals 52. What I did, I put this 2, x as 2 in the first equation. And I got 4 minus 4. Okay. That's promising, but you need to try to put this 2 even in the next equation. Instead of x squared, put the 2 squared and solve. I'll have 3y squared equals this. Uh, this is 4, but when it goes to the other side, it'll become minus. So 52 minus 4 is 48. Now y squared will be equal to 48 divided by 3. It'll be 15, 16. And again, so this is 16 you're getting y equals plus or minus 4. So now, over here, 
even when I put x in this equation, I'm getting 4 and minus 4. Yes, this is correct. Now even try the next one. Okay, just try putting minus 2. It will be the same. Why? Because you're squaring. So minus 2 the whole square and 2 the whole square. What is the answer? It's the same thing. It's 4 and minus 4. So yes, this is the correct answer. All the others would have been wrong. So that's the thing. And if you don't get any answer, say you don't get any answer, then it'll be no solution. And even you can look at the graphs. Now, what is this? This is a circle with the radius 4. Now, this is an ellipse. Okay. Uh, you need to divide by 20. So it'll be, you know, it'll be bigger. You know, when you try to find the A value, B values, you will you'll realize it's bigger. So it'll never get a solution or it'll not intersect. That's the thing. Or you can try with the options and you'll get it. Same thing over here, all these are same. You can try it by yourself. See over here it's minus root 3 and root 3. Just try in one of this, square it, just write it out. Or write at least one of the equations so it's easier. It's easier to solve it manually because in your calculator, if you do as x squared, the problem is you'll just get one answer. Why? Because it doesn't consider both the roots. But when you solve, say if I'll just show you what I mean. Say x squared is equal to 16. So I'll, sorry, shift and solve. I just get 4. Really, it's plus or minus 4. You should use more phi and 3, then you will get plus or minus 4. So it's better to write it out, then understand, then substitute and then solve. You will easily understand which is the correct answer.